Naija's military rulers have demanded that the head of the United Nations diplomatic mission in the country leave within 72 hours. There was no representation from the army officers who overthrew the government in a coup in July at the United Nations World Leaders Conference in New York. Naija's foreign ministry accused the United Nations of employing underhanded maneuvers prompted by France to block its full participation in the UN General Assembly and in following UN agency sessions held in Vienna and Riyadh. In a statement dated October 10th, the UN is alleged by Niger's foreign ministry to have used obstacles to prevent the West African country from taking part fully in the UN General Assembly held last month. A representative of Niger was scheduled to speak during the 78th session of the UN General Assembly in September. However, he did not. The organization had received two requests to address the assembly, one from the overthrown administration and one from the military rulers, according to a diplomatic source that the AFP cited. During that period, the military chiefs denounced the perfidious actions of UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, alleging that he was impeding their ability to attend the assembly. The UN chief's spokesperson, Stefan Dujarek, responded by saying that the UN chief refers the matter to the body's credentials committee for deliberation in the event of competing credentials from a member state and added, the secretary general does not deicide in this regard. According to the statement, Louise Oban, the UN resident coordinator, has been forced to leave by the government as a result. The junta is adopting a similar strategy to neighboring Mali and Burkina Faso, whose militaries overthrew their governments and sent out the UN and the French colonial powers from their countries. Both French troops and the French ambassador have already been expelled from Niger. Last year, Burkina Faso dismissed its UN resident coordinator, while Mali terminated a 10-year UN peacekeeping deployment there. The Islamist insurgency that has been escalating in all three of these nations has led to army officers seizing power on the pretense of bolstering security. Alongside the coups, there have been claims that France has too much influence in its former colonies and a move away from France and toward Russia as a strategic ally. France denies having an excessive amount of influence in these countries, and those not interferes in their government, but rather listens to them. What do you think about Niger sending out the United Nations from their country? Tell us what you think in the comments section below and do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more informative videos like this.